Ah, the South Seas. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Salvation Army Thrift Store in Norwich. Now if you were to check their website, the uh, Salvation Army's thriftstore.ca website, it isn't there. It hasn't been for some a long time. I don't know what the issue is, but they've got this lovely set of uh, displays of antique and vintage items in the showcase windows uh, apparently they're not for sale though so there's there's uh, there quite a few windows as you can see from the initial shot so some close-ups some a little farther away overviews Some of it's not quite as old, some of it is very old. It's a nice nice collection to walk up to. Um, you generally don't find these items in the store though. It's not my first visit to here. Over the years we've uh, had a number of visits. Oh, some with extremely good fortune. Other times we come out empty-handed some inspirational words for those who are passing by some toys and here we're going in it's a good size store as you can see this is the showcase windows on the right there's no access for customers to potentially get any of them. Uh, board games look like a stroller, probably children's or toy for a doll. Um, bicycles, some furniture. Men's, men's and women's clothes are prominently shown here. more precious items are placed in the showcase which creates the cash desk we've, we've gotten some things out of there in the past this is an overview so yes they have there's a hobby horse um, the usual kitchen wares ceramics possibly some porcelain there they have some vintage and antique looking furniture there baskets artwork a little statuary they like placing the artwork pretty high up though You can see this so uh, this is the kitchenware. The place was fairly busy when I was there, so I had to jump back and forth into the aisles to avoid having other other folks who, who were shopping in the video. The chair was placed there so you could potentially use it as um, to check on on the books. Oh it was a uh, 
bassinet, it wasn't the stroller that we saw earlier. Some mugs, uh, some more personal items there that usually are found in the pharmacy. Shoes. Various items that are in the bins. Car, car parts like filters. Not the usual stuff, but hey, there's nothing wrong with it. Somebody uh, can make use of it. It's a good deal for them. And we did look for Hawaiian shirts here. And from these f f f splash at the beginning, you saw this one. It's a, uh, it's for the Caribbean. It's not particularly, well, it's a good size. They have good, pretty good prices for those things if that's the uh, pattern you'd like to have in your Hawaiian shirt. But I think that was the only one they had. This place in the past was more engaged in dealing with eBay selling for their, for their items. So that's why you didn't find them in, in, in the store on the shelves. Um, I don't know if they're really pushing that or, or people even realize that, but in the past we'd seen that the, I, I recognized the, the eBay selling page and they'd been searching up prices. So maybe they have some issues with the mother website so that's why they're separated well thanks a lot thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this we appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and uh, maybe even a tinkle on the bell well thanks a lot folks bye bye